to decrypt either a multiplicative or affine cipher, students know they will need to find the multiplicative inverse of the multiplicative key. How to find multiplicative inverses, in fact, understanding about inverses altogether, can be the trickiest part of Crypto Club. It's hard enough just to get the words out right. However, once students have studied finding multiplicative inverses on page 47 of this Crypto Club Cipher handbook, they have access to this handy table of inverses that they created on that page while finding the inverses of all good keys. So to decrypt, they can just go to this table to find any inverse they require. Still, they might wonder why this works, and they should be encouraged to review the entries. They know that two numbers are multiplicative inverses of each other whenever the product of the two numbers is 1 mod 26. So that means when they see two entries in the table, such as 17 and 23, they know that the product of the two numbers is 1, and they should be encouraged to check that out. To check it out, we just need to show that 23 times 17 is congruent to 1. So we do that multiplication. You can use a calculator if they like, but it's a good time to practice arithmetic. So now the question becomes, is 391 congruent to 1 mud 26? I'll put a question mark there. To check this congruence, we just need to find the remainder of 391 when we divide by 26. So to do that work over here, we divide 391 by 26. And again, you can do this longhand, or you can do any of the techniques that you've learned for finding remainders. But when I complete the multiplication, I see that I get 15 with the remainder of 1, and that means that 391 is congruent to 1 mod 26. Students should be encouraged to uh, check all the other pairs on this table whenever they feel the need to, um, uh, to reinforce their understanding of inverses. But once they're confident enough in it, they can just look at this table and get right to work with decrypting. In fact, I recommend now that you stop the tape, pick another couple of entries in this table, and check it out for yourself. Is the product always congruent to 1 mod 26?